Hey everyone, it's Marina. I'm here today with Project Share that um, I just completed. Well, for the most part, I have a couple things I need to add. But um, this was one of the boxes that I had on my shelf. Um, it was a uh, black and glittery and uh, had lots of hearts. Um, so I sanded down some of it and then I painted it with gesso, then I went over it with some crackle paint in places, or crackle medium in places, and then I went over it again with blue and pink, and it, it was crazy. I, I kind of messed up, and then it turned into not so bad, and then I'm not sure if it's good or not, but I like it. Um, so I'll just go ahead and share a couple of things that I did. I left everything inside the same. It On the outside this has some crackle paint on it. At first I was upset because I didn't like it and it was I had wiped off the other crackle paint but I like the effect that it gives. So I think it turned out pretty nice. Um, I just I changed the colors of some of the flowers. Um, I distressed the edges and then sprayed them with some water. A couple of them are still a little bit damp. But um, I just added some some pearl bling and then I put some Tim Holtz corners, uh, box corners on. I was going to put the um, foundation, the box foundation on but um, well I can't really put it on with this on here so um, I added little little be, uh, sorry, rhinestones in there. I added some feathers. Um, I used stickles for the first time so um, these ones dried but the ones up here aren't dry yet and I changed the color of this flower was white and I made it blue um, I used the Butterbee scraps embellishment and I just added some rhinestones put some pearls or flat back pearls here another Butterbee scraps embellishment behind the paper flower I added some stickles to the bottom of it it already had some glitter up on top um, just some more pearls and feathers, and I did the same thing to the other side. Um, on this side I added, just added, a some beaded trim, and some more pearls, and then that's the back. And I put some more box corners on, oops, sorry, put some more box corners on the back edges. And then, um, added some trim here. Used up the rest of this trim. I actually really like it. I added the little bird there. I wasn't sure what else to add. Um, I kind of got a little lost, but the, the space here was just like this open blank space, so I put a bird there. I don't know if I'm going to keep him there or not. I don't know if it looks good, but I used a vintage photo to distress the edges, and while it was bright at first, and I, I thought I like overdid it, when it dried, it really looks just great the effect that it gives so I, I really liked how that turned out but I'll go ahead and show you the inside So it's just a jewelry box that I altered. I really am happy with it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the quick view and thank you for stopping by to take a look at it. I would be really grateful for any feedback. I'm a little unsure about how it turned out because I've never done anything like this before exactly. I kind of usually just do it from scratch. I've never uh, done the paint part first. so. Um, yeah, so I hope it turned out well. Alright, well, um, I'm, I may put this up on my Etsy shop. I'm not 100% sure yet. Um, if it does, I will add the link in the description. Alright, well, thank you for stopping by and have a good day, everyone.